looking for evidence of Bigfoot. We're looking for evidence of Bigfoot in Pennsylvania. Come with us. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Bring the camera. Bring the camera. So good. Swix fun size wrapper. There's, there's no way that this got out here all on its own. Something had to move this. God, look, look. Oh, oh look at that beautiful. This thing must be eight or nine feet tall to comfortably reach up to that branch. Again. Look at those rip marks. He has left nothing for us. See, pre we previously knew that Bigfoot had a sweet tooth, but a sour tooth. That's new. Look, look at the, look at the way the. Wow, he he bit right into that box. Yeah, look. I mean, no human could leave those teeth. There's no piece of equipment more important for a Bigfoot expert than your own two eyes. I think I see a turtle. What? Really? Where? Over there. Just like a turtle. It does look like a turtle. But it's not. Darn. Stupid non class. Could it be Bigfoot though? No. I don't think he's got no. What's that? <laughs> oh my gosh! What is did, did, you, did you see that? It went. Did you guys see that? It tore off through the bushes. Let's see if I can see it. Oh my gosh, I can see We're pretty sure that Bigfoot's been in this area. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to pick up the Bigfoot evidence here. You have to be able to catalog properly the uh, scientific evidence. We're, we're going to get these in some plastic bags and uh, ship them off to be tested for DNA possible that uh, he bit into it and left some DNA in his saliva. We might just be able to clone a Bigfoot in order to taser it. See anything? No, I think it appears the Bigfoot has moved on. And where Bigfoot goes, Bigfoot Quest goes. Oh my gosh, look, what's that? You got something, Nick? Yeah, look. I thought it was not in a stick. He must have used the stick. Nutcracker. Where did Big it even? Foot. This is a pretty heavy stick. Oh man, he must have broke this off the tree and been using it to crack these peanuts. Where did he get the peanuts? Probably from a local convenience store. Wow. Okay. You know this has to be Bigfoot because who else would eat peanuts? And who I would? Mean, who could break that off? Bashing him with a stick. This could probably smash his head up. Squirrels don't use sticks to bash open peanuts. Had to be Bigfoot. Had to. No way it could be him. I don't see any prints around here, though. What? What prints? We believe that the bugs are attracted by Bigfoot stink, which would only make sense. In Florida, they actually call Bigfoot the skunk ape. Really? Yeah. Well, he's known by a lot of names everywhere. There's legends of Bigfoot throughout well, all of history. Did you hear his favorite color is brown? I thought it was green. It was brown. But we, the whole last episode. But I thought it was green. Like brown. Uh, oh. How many times do I have to tell you, Megan? I don't like having to call you out when the camera is watching. Huh? Hey, his favorite color is green. You gotta know your Bigfoot facts. Huh? Uh. It's green. Bigfoot's favorite color is green. I can't work under these conditions. We'll be right back. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What? Someone help me! I think I was in the attack by Bigfoot. Bigfoot attacked you? Yeah. What did he do? He just grabbed me and he started clawing my leg. Oh my it was awful. Wait, are you, are you hurt bad? Do you need to go to the hospital? No, but my leg hurts. I just need a few band-aids and some water. 
This must be Bigfoot territory. He's very territorial. He sometimes attacks humans like this poor innocent bystander. We No, we, we need to um, actually amputate your leg and use that as evidence. Come on, what? Man. There might be some saliva no! in the wounds. No! Look at this. We didn't see this before. No, this crater was near before. There's only one explanation for how this crater got here. This is a bigfoot. Big nice. This is clearly a bigfoot nest. Yes, of course. They they say that they 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 make them out of like. They, 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 first of all, they have to step on the ground really hard. Animals probably weigh 500, 600 pounds, like stomp on the ground, and then they they place their young in these in these dens. This one's unfinished, but the Bigfoot could be back at any moment to finish. Kind of like, uh, kind of like, uh, see? Oh my gosh, it's a family of bully putties. Yeah, well, they, they probably serve as a food source for the young of Bigfoot. Hey, see, Bigfoot, I guess he's kind of like the sea turtle of the forest. Drags himself out of the forest and then, well, her, herself. And lays its eggs in this burrow. Incredible. We've learned so much about Bigfoot, and we've only scratched the surface to someday be able to taser Bigfoot. Look, a jogger. What? A jogger. Well, that's not Bigfoot. <laughs> and perhaps this generation of Bigfoot hunters will be able to finally taser Bigfoot for science. Some sort of food stored inside. Maybe that is where all the candy uh, has been going. But uh, we don't want to disturb it. We don't want Bigfoot to think that we're encroaching on its territory. We've already seen one Bigfoot attack victim today, and uh, but thankfully the authorities didn't arrest me for trying to use her as evidence of Bigfoot. I told you that wasn't a good idea. Well, she could have had Bigfoot saliva in her leg. No, we could have got her a shot. Just because we could have got arrested. Look, we have to do what we, we have to do for science. I wasn't for science. here when that happened. For science. I wasn't here when that happened. Have I you forgotten not. the high five for science? You understand that we need to do everything we can to capture Bigfoot and take him for science. Yes, ma'am.